Bye. Hello, how are you? Have you been practicing your figures recently? I hope so. And I also hope that you have found the exercises on shopping lists easy, or at least fun or useful, whatever. I hope you've enjoyed yourselves. Now today I'm going to go back to a speech and it's going to be about public transport and COVID-19. Why? Well, because it's a topic we're all very familiar with, so you don't need to focus so much on the subject matter as your technique or relaying everything that is said into your notes or your SI delivery. And that's what we're going to do today, just practice our interpreting technique. And if you're ready, we're going to start now. Public transport and the pandemic. Are you worried about getting on a bus, riding on the tube or hiring a taxi? Well, you shouldn't really be. If you wear your mask at all times and comply with all safety measures, you can be reassured and just go to work on public transport. You see, according to Spanish health experts, the risk of contagion on trains and buses is low. And not only because all safety measures have been taken, but also because the Spanish Transportation Ministry has installed improved ventilation systems and hand sanitizer dispensers at metro stations in Madrid and other cities in Spain. According to health experts, the implementation of new safety measures ensures that the risk of infection is lower to that of eating in a closed space or going to a nightclub However much you may be missing these last two activities. Spaniards, however, are still a bit wary about taking public transport, despite the fact that Spain has not identified a single COVID-19 outbreak on its subway, train or bus systems. Maybe publishing and disseminating this information a bit more among citizens would also encourage users to get on a bus or on a train and therefore continue with individual efforts to curb climate change and its effects. Two surveys have been carried out by the Spanish Consumer Protection Group, OCU, to assess, first of all, the level of fear of using public transport among the population in Spain, and second, to analyse the punctuality and crowding in public transport in 21 Spanish cities. In total, the OCU has analysed 252 bus lines, 21 metro lines, 10 commuter lines and 8 tram lines. And the results have been as follows. 31% of respondents consider public transportation very unsafe. That is to say the most dangerous space where you can be. 28% consider it more unsafe than attending sporting activities in closed spaces. 7 out of 10 drivers would use their private vehicle less if public transport improved. And 9 out of 10 people believe that public transport should be strengthened when pollution is high. To increase the use of public transport, 
it is important to change the population's perceptions. Otherwise, cities run the risk of being overwhelmed by traffic when urban mobility returns to normal levels. Maybe campaigns insisting on the safety measures to be taken, providing an improved service and increasing the number of buses and trains at peak hours could help dispel these views and therefore encourage more people to go back to travelling by bus and on trains. In any event, whatever you do, at a personal level, there are certain precautions that you can easily take, such as packing disinfecting wipes or hand sanitizer with at least 60% alcohol before leaving the house, planning your trips in advance to make them as efficient as possible, traveling at off-peak times, taking less busy routes and reducing the number of changes, buying a ticket in advance when possible, and if you can't, using contactless payment systems. Avoid touching kiosks, digital interfaces such as touch screens and fingerprint scanners, ticket machines, turnstiles, handrails, toilet surfaces, lift buttons and benches. Always keeping at least a metre and a half away from people. Washing your hands for at least 20 seconds or using hand sanitizer after completing your journey. 20 seconds is approximately more or less the time it takes to sing happy birthday twice. And of course, if you take all of these precautions, you shouldn't be afraid to leave the house if you need to go to work or to do your weekly grocery shopping. Be sensible, patient and remember what your parents used to say when you were little. Take your shoes off, wash your hands and rinse them well as soon as you arrive home. Thank you very much for your attention. How did it go? I'm sure you did a really, really good job. Let's focus a little bit on the topic. First of all, I said I was going to talk about public transport and the pandemic. So as soon as you heard that, you should have probably stopped the video and done a little bit of brainstorming to try to see which would be the main words or ideas that would crop up. You know that uh, concept map or uh, mind map can be very, very useful when you don't have very much time to prepare. I don't really think that the first three paragraphs were very difficult. Things became a little bit more complicated if you were doing consecutive when we went down to the figures because it was a bit of a shopping list. However, it is important to try to understand what they mean. That's why figures sometimes are difficult because they don't give us a context. But here we did have a context, so it should have been more or less easy to understand and, and analyze the information, which is what we should be doing. And finally, at, towards the end, we have a series of items and bullet points that focus on very, very specific information, but they all make sense. And if you're doing consecutive, the only thing you've got to do is just jot down the key words because it all makes sense. It is a topic that does not require preparation and that's why it should be easy to remember. Next time, I think I will look for something a little bit more challenging for you. Let's see what I will do. See you soon. Bye bye.